Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, and my calendar tells me that this is another two-minute tech tip. Here to deliver today's tech tip is Oracle Ace Director Dimitri Gilis. Dimitri is an expert in Oracle Application Express, and he's the founder and director of Apex R&D, a development training and consulting company based in Belgium. How are you, Dimitri? Doing good. Thank you, Bob. So what is the topic of your tech tip? Of working with Jason and Apex. All right. If you are ready, your two minutes starts now. Okay, so in the last years, we had to work a lot with Jason in our applications. So in this tech tip, I want to give you two examples of what we did. In one project, we used a smartwatch to retrieve the heart rate of a person. That data is stored in JSON format. So to be able to use the data in our Apex app, we had to interpret that JSON object. But where does Apex work best with? It's with SQL. So I wanted to query that JSON object through SQL. So as we are using the Oracle database 12C, the steps to do that are simple. First, create a table with a club to store the JSON. Second, add a constraint on the table so the Oracle database knows to expect JSON in the club. And finally, you can use some JSON functions in your SQL statement. 12C has many functions. For example, JSON table lets you map the JSON to a relational structure. So when I run my SQL statement, I just get rows and columns of data. So that's one way. We get JSON from somewhere, and we use that data in our app. What about the other way around? I want to send JSON to a service. So in Apex 5, there's a package called Apex JSON, which allows you to do just that. You provide it with a SQL statement, and it spits out JSON. If you're not on Apex 5.0, so don't worry, just yet, you can use the ORT, the Oracle REST. 30 data. seconds. With ORT, you can create a REST web service and on top of, uh, on top of a query that returns the JSON. So we use both techniques to pass JSON to our printing engine for Apex. So there you go. Uh, that was my tip, working with JSON, either retrieving or generating from the database and Apex. And so that's very easy if you know how to do it. You can check more on my blog. Thanks for your tip, Dimitri. And for you out there in YouTube land, let us know what you think of Dimitri's tip by clicking one of the little thumb icons or leaving a comment. Thanks for watching.